Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a PDF forms to Microsoft forms automatically. You don't have to recreate those forms. You can just import your PDF by using the quick import method in Microsoft forms. Let's dive in. You can go to forms.office.com or you just go to the office portal, which is where I have now office.com and log in. By the left hand side here, you can click on this waffle button to see the list of all the apps you have access to and locate forms, which I've done right here. This takes me to the form page. And right on this page, you see the list of some of the forms you've recently worked with, but that is not exhaustive of all the forms. And you see these two options. What we want to do is now here. All you need is to go to all my forms right now. It's going to open a new tab and I can see all my forms. And I can also show more, you know, in case I have several forms but you see this option that that is what we are talking about here quick import so before we start using it let us see what i'm you know what i'm trying to import this is microsoft word to make it easy and fast i've created this microsoft forms and this is it i'm going to convert it to pdf so that we can import it then we're going to edit this form and create variant of it so that you can also see how the form appears you know in its variant i have created a folder on my desktop called forms import so i'm just going to go right there and choose pdf and this i'm going to say version one i can use underscore v1 so this is version one i'm going to save awesome so let's edit this what are the kind of edits we can do we can actually add sessions so let's say about data this is about data and for this about data, i can call it adding so adding so that's adding one we see the impact this will make and this from here go to new line okay okay so here i'm going to say um technical skill and run this adding again so we see there are sessions to adding and that is all this is second version now i'm going to choose pdf then make it version two version two all right saved then i also want to do something different by creating more space here so that these guys are more spacious okay and this is fine already this is cool and this will be version three I'm going to save this version 3. Alright, so we have three PDF already uh, that we can actually import. The next step is go back to forms and then I can click quick import right now. I'm going to click upload from device, PDF or Word. But remember, it has to be maximum of 10 megabytes. So upload and get to my desktop where I have it, the folder. I can see version 1. I'm going to click on version 1 and select what type of forms am I uploading? Is it quiz or form? This is actually a survey, so I'm going to click on form. The conversion starts. And in few seconds, you know, it will be done and you can edit and see. Of course, it's done right now. Your form has been successfully converted. Start review. It's going to open a new tab and I will see the form. Let's see. Wow, great. So this is form one and awesome i can see um this but something what happened here is it breaks them into sessions and form one is not into session so we might want to see from one what it looks like this right here is form one of course there's no session there's no heading but it breaks them into multiple sessions right here you can see even uh, when i put on preview this is how it's imported the but i break them into session i have to move next to this move next to this Okay, so you can see, and it did not import it correctly because of the, uh, here, the line has break to another session to form another session, but they are not sessions. And you see right here that, oh, this content is missing. This form is converted from this as part of a review. So just checking this item, just observing that question one, are you sure that it's done well? And that's what it's doing right now. Are you sure that it's done well? And that is why you see this notification there to open up that icon if it's fine i can just 
click here and say resolve you will not see that again so okay all issues has been resolved all right let's go ahead and i'm just going to call this form one let's go ahead and import another one i'm back here i'm going to click on quick import you know upload version two it's form so it's uploading the second one now let's see uh, the difference is the second one we had or we have headers already you know we started headers so let's see how it's going to influence the form that has been created okay about data we can see about data here wow this so many in fact we missed up we messed up this right sorry uh, this is not the intention but you can see even when you add you know about data as a session i was thinking that would actually define sessions but it didn't wow okay this is the learning is to let you know that this feature is not yet perfect i still a lot of things are being improved there and let's look at it let's look at the third one. Oh, i thought this would come out best uh but okay let's check the third one um of course back here and quick import form three is form so conversion has started and let's see let's go let's be hopeful that this will be better okay start review okay about data i see session three four i see technical session this this is very close to perfect amazing um this is description but i actually wanted it as a header here not there but obvious that yeah i think this works it breaks this down to technical session what makes it work this way is because we give them lot of gaps and that works so space is very important give make sure they're spacious and at the moment it does not work for all forms of question types and of course to even make it very well you can see the instruction right on my screen which states clearly what needs to be done very clear on the screen you need to create more space it is not all question type that you know you can use now image will not appear and you see that tables will still not appear but they're making improvement on this so feel free let me see if you're going to try this out and of course now that you're aware that it exists the next time you might want to use it might be huge progress or update on it and of course even as it is today you can use so um thank you for your time feel free to like and subscribe to this like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel for more content i just feel it is amazing and you should try it out thanks